friends today i am going to talk to you about a very important area called active learning active learning and creating excitement in the workshops laboratories and classes is the most important project that gtu has it is very important that our classrooms and our laboratories do not become boring places they must become interesting they must become places where we learn from each other and they be must become places where when we do learn the learning it is seen as a discovery process by us the idea is <coughs> that whenever you go to your class you should be able to participate you should be able to learn and there should be an excitement that you have learned something useful engineering is a very interesting discipline engineering is a discipline which has created this world as you see it today engineering is a discipline which is going to create the world of tomorrow so you are going to create a world which does not exist today there will be thousands of products which do not exist and which is going to be there tomorrow just as there are thousands of project products which we are using and they were not there 10 years back so the world is changing and it is changing because engineers are developing new ways of doing things new ways of enjoyment new ways of living such an interesting area has been made boring in the classes so we have to see that we somehow retry the learning processes in engineering from the boredom into which they have fallen we have started a project under which last year we conducted eight workshops where we talked about how to teach subjects which are normally considered to be boring in such a way that classes become interesting we talked about calculus how to teach calculus in a more interesting way how to teach computer graphics in a more interesting fashion so these are the kind of things that we have discussed then subjects which were considered to be hard by the students we took eight of them four from degree engineering and four from diploma engineering and offered television lectures we we'll, we telecast lectures from good teachers to the students all over gujarat but these lectures were telecast on saturdays and sundays we realized that some of the students may not be able to see those telecasts therefore we took videos and put them on the web so that those who had missed seeing the telecast may be able to still take advantage of the lecture now then again in the second semester we took five subjects from diploma and four subjects from degree and we have been telecasting the lectures i hope you have been taking advantage of these lectures either from the telecast or from the video which we put after the lecture on the web but i want to talk to you about something more than that i want that you should participate in this particular process of making the lectures and laboratories and workshops more interesting what i want is that every group of 5 or 6 students should come together and say that they are interested in a particular subject they know a particular chapter very well and they would prepare the slides for teaching that subject so what i want is every group of 6 students to prepare powerpoint slides for teaching one chapter but these powerpoint slides are not to be the usual powerpoint slides with statements and equations yes statements and equations are required you have to talk about what you are going to teach but 
they should be accompanied by graphics they should be accompanied by videos they should be accompanied by pictures you should show what the applications are and then you should talk about the subject it should not be that you just write equations you have to show what the effect of those equations are what happens if a particular parameter in the equation is changed that is the kind of thing you have to discuss so the idea is that the whole lecture has got to be made interesting the rule is you do not continue in the same monotonous voice for more than 10 minutes after 10 minutes you must change you must show some graphics you must show some picture you must show some video or you may ask some interesting question which you may answer but then first of all that question should be asked let the students think about it and then in a minute you can give the answer but it should be an interesting question a provocative question the point is we have to learn to hold the interest of the students if we are talking to a class and half the class is asleep then it's no good because then you are not able to convey what you are wanting to convey to the students so you have to make the lectures interesting and exciting it should look after the hour is over the student should feel he has learned something he should feel he has discovered something new when he goes to the laboratory for example it should not be that he just takes a few measurements and writes a few pages well we don't want to waste pages without learning anything so therefore every laboratory must be designed to be different it should be designed to make us learn something so when you prepare the teaching for one chapter you have to also prepare the corresponding practical work what is the practical work that you should do in each subject you have to visualize what kind of project you can take what kind of design problem you can take from day one and how that design problem that particular project could lead to learning of the whole subject it is possible sometimes to think of a single project you begin on the first day of the project the first day of the lectures of the subject with that particular project as you learn the project builds up when you end the project is also complete you can visualize some such situations it may not happen in all the subjects but in some subjects it may be a possibility so what i want you to do is to think about how you could teach a particular chapter in the best possible way after you have prepared this material send it to us you have the email address of active learning send it over there and we will have a look <clears throat> the student a group of students who designed the best learning material will get an award from the university so be ready to prepare this kind of course material and please remember if you were to prepare an outstanding course material we are going to put it on the web the whole world will use it there are engineering students in china there are engineering students in us and in fact in all the 270 countries of the world most of the engineering students today are very familiar with google and they use internet as soon as we put an interesting chapter on the web you will find slowly by word of mouth it will become well known if for example a student by the name of pankaj patel has prepared a set of slides which are being used by the students all over the world then everyone will know that this pankaj patel of this particular college of gtu has prepared this material so make the material exciting make it interesting so that the whole world uses it and the engineering students from all over the world remember that they learned 
from the material prepared by you. So let's move ahead. Let's prepare course material which is the best in the world. Today we are using course material prepared by IITs which is good. There, we are using course material prepared by Stanford. We are using course material prepared by MIT. These are available on the web. Excellent course materials they are. And we should be thankful to these great institutions for putting this kind of excellent material on the web. But then let's also try to put our material on the web. And let's see whether the world says that our material is the best or someone else's material is, other, is the best. Let's try to work. It is quite possible for us to prepare the best of material and ensure that this material is so interesting that people will use it from all over the world. So please come aboard the active learning project. Join the active learning project, not only by listening to the lectures, not only by using the video lectures which we have put on the web, but also preparing chapter by chapter the course material which will be used then by your class fellows, by your successors, those who come after you into engineering and by the students of the rest of the world. Let's prepare active learning material, learning material which is excellent for the whole of the world. Thank you.